welcome back. We are on a fun adventure today that has nothing to do with theme parks, Disney, or something Orlando. new. Or we're Orlando. Well, 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 we're in Orlando right now. <laughs> but we are actually at the Orlando International Airport, but we're not going on an airplane. Hmm. Hmm. We are going to go on the a boat. No. We are going to go on the Bright Line, which is Orlando's new high speed train that connects a few different places around Florida. We are taking it today to Miami, literally just for the day, to go see if you can't see my earrings. The Phillies play the Miami Marlins. We went to this park uh, last year, but we drove there. So this is our first time taking Bright Line and then first time taking it to Miami. Um, what's also cool about though, when I was buying these tickets to the train, they have, they had a little Miami Marlins icon on the train. And I was like, what does that mean? And once we get to Miami, there are shuttle buses directly to the game. So they call it like, don't miss the first, the pitch? first pitch, I think. And there's shuttles from the Miami station to the, uh, ballpark, which like, is very cool. It's like such a brilliant idea. I love that. So yeah, much. and I I was looking at the website. They do also have it for um, uh, Miami Dolphin games. Oh, cool! For That's football awesome. season. Okay, good to know. So same thing. We're here, pretty much. Um, very easy drive, and our train is at one fifty. It's one fifteen, and let's go. Let's do it. Woo. Okay, so the parking was. Sun Pass and was it Easy Pass too, or is it called something else? Sun Pass and something else only. And I pulled up, I didn't pull up qu far enough, and I'm like, what the heck? It says you have to scan something, so I'm over here like taking the Sun Pass off. <laughs> but you can just drive right up to it, and then the gates open. I don't know how the payment works yet, but we'll figure that out. But it's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars, which is crazy. I don't even know. Like, I guess this is also you could get to the airport from here. Terminals A, B, C, and then Bright. We are looking for Bright Line. Okay, this is nicer than the parts of the airport that I'm used to. Yeah, this is like real. This is gorgeous. This is so nice. Looks like you can also get tickets right here if you don't prepay for them. And here, baggage time. check. Baggage check, guest services here. We are in. They do have security here, which is really nice. So you just put your bags through there and walk through the metal detector. It's really quick. And this station is gorgeous. The little snack stand right here. You can just tell how new it is, for sure, right? Yeah, it's like spotless. Stunning. Oh, so cool. So there seems to be two tracks. Yes. Right? Track one, track two. It's cool. And that's where we're headed. Miami. And they do have a bar as well. Good to know. Always good to know. Oh, you know, always, you know, always just good to know. But we're going to try to figure out what track we're on. We're not sure. Okay. So it's just a little bit nicer than the NJ Trans that I'm used to. Just a tad nicer. Just a tad nicer than NJ Trans and Man Trans. <laughs> just like, just a little bit. Just a little bit. This is gorgeous. NJ Trans that we have to like, we have to push the seats back and forth. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Look at even just like the head thing. Like you can just like fall asleep yeah. both sides. You don't even need a head mask. Or you know. Like a, like a neck doll. Yeah, so, so this nice. is great. You're in Smart, which is like the middle. So there's premium, which was an upcharge, and then they have a lower class, which I think is the same seats, but like you don't get to pick your seats. Okay. Like you can't cancel, it's like seats. stuff like that. Just like stress free. You may or may not have a video of you sleeping, but. But you're cute though. No, we've driven to Miami. What? I guess just once? Once. Um, but I remember the drive there and back. Do you remember the drive there? It took us like four and a half hours. We were stuck hours. in traffic for a long, a long time. time. So it's just so nice to get up here. Just like don't, you know, don't worry about traffic. Don't have to worry about driving. And then we get a shuttle to the game too. And then we're going to shuttle to the game. So it's really cool. I'm so excited. Good amount of Phillies fans here. Oh, the, oh, the camera's so foggy. One sec. Still a little foggy working on it. It's very humid. And I believe this is our bus. Let's get off. We're on it. This is Chewy. Chewy's at Best Friends Doggy Daycare right now in a villa suite. He has a flat screen TV. He has a whole patio. Look at him. 
He's being nosy at every person walking by. I know everyone who walks by, he's like, who's that? Oh, Heading into the third base entrance. The game does not start until 6.40. It is 5.38. But the doors are already open, so let's see if we can maybe catch batting practice. This stadium has gotten a lot of hate throughout the years. I really love it in here. I think it's gorgeous. I don't think there's such thing as a bad MLB stadium. I think each one has unique things that are fun. I even liked Tropicana Field in Tampa. I honestly really liked Tropicana Field. I thought they had really good food and beverage options. Yeah, and it's a, it's a unique it's experience. when, like, your home park is the best, you know? Yeah. All right, well, these seats are absolutely amazing. Like, a perfect view down the left field line. Foul pole right there. Screen behind us. Sick. Little funny thing I just noticed, some of the MLB players have unique warm-ups. It looks like probably one of the pitchers likely was warming up with the football right there. I don't think you can see it on the ground, but today is the first NFL game, so a little crossover there. There's a little bar right here in left center. Deep left center, but you can have a, like, you know, a little drink right here and have a nice view of the game over there. Okay, this is something you guys may not know about me, but ever since I was little, I'm obsessed with like different skylines of cities. And this is a great view of the Miami skyline. Wow. Beautiful. Here's one of the Bali sports cameras. That's like the Marlins Regional Sports Network to record the game. Pretty sick. Will VR home run derby. You want to hit some dingers? I mean, maybe. <laughs> like Dee just said, not exactly the Phillies kid zone, but still really cute. Cool, like retro arcade games right here. Wait, but the Phillies don't have this. This is sick. Wow. A bobblehead museum organized by division. So here you got Phillies right here. Bryce Harper right there because it's organized by division. So this is the NLE. Yeah, let's see. Got Chase Utley with a microphone. Got Aaron Nola, Placido Polanco. Ryan Howard with the Red and Phils. That's funny. Aaron Nola with like Han Solo? Han Solo looks like yeah possibly maybe it was like for like May the Fourth. Eddie Ford, Gary Sanchez, that's funny. Babe Ruth, Andy Pettit, the Goat. I have to say the Phillies ones were kind of more stuff. Becky Matsui, Don Mattingly, and all the mascots down there too. Street dogs, hot dog place. This is what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Anything that says Goya presents on it, I'm I'm there. I saw something and knew exactly what I was getting. My family is Cuban, on my mom's side, so there's something I got. Oh, shout out to Adobo. Okay, something I gotta get here. I'll let you guys guess where it is. That's the menu right there. So, what I ended up getting there is a pan con biste sandwich. This is like, how do I explain this? Almost like a Cuban version of a cheesesteak, except it has french fries in it. It is so good. Really, really good. Better than I expected. The best Banco Miste sandwich you can get is at this place called Dos Amigos. So if you're ever in like the North Jersey, New York area, it's in West New York, New Jersey. I know, sounds weird, but it's called Dos Amigos. It is one of the best places on earth, I promise you. But obviously this one doesn't really compare to that because it's just, you know, ballpark food. But it still is really good and it's better than no pan con stand sandwich, so I'm not complaining. Well, I got a cheese quesadilla, like a little good. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna try something different. <laughs> different meaning you can't really get quesadillas at Citizens Bank Park, you know, as opposed to like french fries, you know. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Okay, we just got moonshine slushies. I yes. got the Raz, like berry type one. Yeah, and I got it's like Arnold Shine, so it's kind of like an Arnold Palmer with moonshine. It's like iced tea, lemonade, and moonshine. It is so good. It's so refreshing. Check this out. This is pretty nice. This is like on the third base side. We got Biscayne Bay Brewing Company. Really cool here. I love the vibe in this stadium. Okay, so this is pretty neat. So where this stadium resides now used to be where the Miami Orange Bowl was. So that had like so many, a lot of legendary moments like see JFK there, with the Marlins. Did the, did the Marlins ever play? I'm gonna have to search that up. I'll, I'll let you guys know that, but the Dolph 
happens. There's a lot of collegiate football games here. Really cool. I posted a couple of Super Bowls, I believe, Super Bowl 3 specifically. There you go. That's a type of Colt 16-7. Even Super Bowl 2, that's random. So back-to-back -back Super Bowls in Miami. Now, tomorrow is... Okay, so there's some players on the field right now. Don't ask me how I know this, but... That is Adam Aller on the Marlins. He's starting tonight, I believe. A bit of a lesser known pitcher. And then over there for the Phillies, you can see Ranger Suarez and JT Romney. So Ranger is a starting pitcher for the Phillies today, and JT is a catcher. He's forming up over there, getting some throws in. Feel pretty good about that. Feel pretty good about that. Sorry, I was really zoomed in on you. <laughs> Emmy Marlins have been a team since 1991, okay? Okay. Pretty sure. Yeah, 91. The only number that they have retired is Jackie Robinson's number. Every MLB team has Jackie Robinson's number retired, but they have no other like former players or anything that retired. I do think one one thing I did read. I read it in an article recently. Um, they had a player. He was amazing. He sadly passed away really young. His name is Jose Fernandez. He was number 16. No one has worn it before, like since then. But it's not officially retired. Hopefully they'll officially retire it soon. But yeah, isn't that weird? looking chicken tendies have been acquired. Chicken tender basket, we're getting a little hungry, and a refill of our moonshine slushies that we got. They're so They're good. They're so good. Shout out the guy that works the moonshine stand too. Such he a nice guy. He let us taste all of the flavors. When I came back, he remembered me, like, so good. Bit of a pitcher's duel here so far. We got a 1-0 game in the top of the fifth. Phillies are winning though. It's the high five cam. We got a high five. High five! There we go! They get it! They get it! They get it! And to wrap up the ballpark food, we've got some dulce de leche churros. A beautiful view. We're at like the little bar area now. I got Dippin' Dots, my favorite. Dee loves Dippin' Dots. I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit.
but I still think they got him, so they're reviewing it now, and let's see what happens. Scratch that, I don't think they're even reviewing it. I think it's just an awkward little, like, meeting on the mound, and then we're getting back to it. Okay, I'm not used to this type of hospitality at baseball games. Nothing against Philly at all, but as we're walking out, we have to, we had to unfortunately head out a little earlier to catch our tram back to the train station. They're giving out free water. They said courtesy of Gatorade. That's, that's so cool. The lights look weird, but they don't look like that in their life when we are on the train. Heading back to Orlando. Um, it's the same like layout, same train thing, but this one seems like newer. It does, yeah. Not that the other one seemed old. No, but, but this one is just like really clean. And it looks like the window's clear, so maybe we could record some of like traffic. Yeah, us. they don't have that film on this outside mm -hmm. of this one. Um, but yeah, like it's just really nice seats. I love how you can really just rest cozy. your head. Really cozy. I think we're so we're set to start going at I think like 9:45. I was gonna say take off. I don't think that's the right terminology. And I think we're supposed to get there a little bit after one. I should time it. You should time it. Yeah. Time Honestly, it took. They were. We left at 1:50 to get here and, and got here on 515. I feel like we were only on here for like an hour. I don't know I why. I didn't feel like that. It like flew by for some reason. This is our final time. Final time, basically spot on. How long did it feel like for you? Very short. Five like minutes? <laughs> I was awake the entire, I started dozing off at the end right now. But. Back to bed. Back to bed? Me too. We're not the station. Thank you for just your friend and welcome to Okay, as we walk back to our car, first of all, don't mind the like mic giving me a little bit of a shadow here. Shadow. But I think it's also important to mention the Phillies won. Uh, the Phillies we won. missed the ending of the game, but they won five to two. Yeah, but we didn't miss much. Like we missed were looking at that last basis. inning and a half. Yeah. It ended while we were on the bus back to the. But all airport. the good moments we saw. Saw the good yeah. moments. Saw them. Every run scored that they scored. Yeah. Only missed uh, the Marlins schooling run, which is which is we fine. can miss that. It's fine. Which is fine. We had such a fun time. I love the Marlins stadium. I love the Bright Line. It's the Bright Line is so great. And so cool. And there's a few different. You know, you can take it to like West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale. So you have yeah. a ton of options too. It's not just Miami. Um, we were just saying, like Jared, a few months ago when we went to Disneyland, actually, his flight had a layover in Miami, and like it honestly would probably just be easier and probably cheaper. Yeah. To because the train tickets are very you know well priced. Just take the train to Miami. And exactly. Then just yeah. Fly to LA. So it's very it's it's just a nice option to have. And I gotta say I'm about ten times more comfier there than I was on an airplane. The foot, yeah. like the yeah, you the have foot so room much is really more good. Room. Yeah. It's it just feels a lot more spacious. I yeah. loved it. I like can't recommend it enough. Yes, for sure. And you're in a very like secure area. Like, yeah, nice like area. we're just walking around doing a little stroll right here. It's 1 a.m. right now. So yeah, and it's very nice. So thank you all for watching. We have to we have to do another train trip at some point. I think we definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.